Let's talk about render passes today and focus on one particular pass that will make your renders look better with just a few clicks. I'm talking about the ambient occlusion pass in post. This one's overlooked by so many artists. This little guy will give your renders that fine little extra touch you need in your renders. Let's take a look at some examples. As you can see here, this one's without the ambient occlusion pass and this one's with. It gives your renders a little bit more depth and richness. And this was literally just two clicks in Photoshop or the Blender Compositor. Okay, let's quickly set up the Blender scene here. Let's go to our render properties, switch from EV to Cycles. I go with the Experimental and GPU Compute. Okay, now we go to the Output Properties and go to our Output File Path. You can give it a name here. I go with AO Pass Tutorial. And you can leave it at PNG. And now we go to our Layer Properties. Scroll down until we see the Ambient Occlusion Pass here and tick it. And now you can render out the image. Okay, after rendering you can close the window and go to Compositing. And now you just need to click Use Nodes and Backdrops to, so you can see what you're doing there. Let's quickly add a View node here so we can see our backdrop. And connect the image here. You have to click Backdrop to see the image. Now we can see what we're actually doing with our nodes here. I will put them aside so we can see the image better. And as you can see here, we have our ambient occlusion output. You can quickly connect it to the viewer node so you can see what it looked like. It's a black and white image with all the information in the nearby shadows and black values. So let's quickly delete it and turn on our image again. Now to combine these two, we have to put in a mix node. Uh, the AO goes to layer 2 and the image goes into layer 1. Now we can put it into the viewer node so we can see what we're doing here. And now we have to switch from Mix to Multiply and you're done. You can switch the slider here and see the difference uh, it makes. As you can see here the image has a lot more depth now and a little bit of contrast and a healthy amount of black values in these parts here. And you have a lot more control over your image and yeah, I think it's a cool technique to add a little bit of fine tuning to your image. So if you want to do your post processing in Photoshop, you basically have to go to the Node tab in the end panel change the destination and type in a name. This will create a folder with your uh, different passes you will create. And now you go to the input and create a new input for your AO pass. You can rename it real quick here so we have a good naming channel here. And connect the AO channel to the new created input. Now you can render out the image again. So you will basically end up with this folder here and the two images will be in there. Let's create a new file in Photoshop and make sure you're in 16-bit channel. Because we rendered out our images in 16-bit. Um, now we can import it. Let's go with the first one, now the AO pass. And now you just basically have to change the layer mode to multiply and you're done. Now you can play around with the intensity by adjusting the fill or the opacity slider or import and curves adjustment layer and play around with the curves. You can increase or decrease the contrast here by playing around with that curve. And yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and see you guys in the next one. Cheers! Cheers.